Let's talk parenting and disciplinary measures. A video has since gone viral um, and has sparked reactions and started conversations on social media regarding the right way to discipline an apparent erring child or young adult as peculiar to this case. Take a look at the video. You you know what's going to happen to you with a stupid two or three certificates? You're supposed to have one. I go to many times. Did anyone to listen? Mm -mm, George, stop beating them. Come this on. This is stupidity. You can't be saying stop beating know. them. You know what this means. I know it does, but why are you beating them? I told you this is a scar on your entire life. Even if you come and pass your next sitting, you have two. Do you know the reputation this stupid thing gives you? Huh? Do you know the reputation it gives you? You're a big boy, you, you can't read. You can't read. Uh -uh, George, come on, don't do that. You can't read. Yeah. So why the, why the hell do you come back with results like you can't read? Nine! Yeah, I, I was very you can't talk about Stop talking to me. Understand? Stop beating him now. You understand? Yes. You can't talk to me again about your results. No! Give me George, come this on. Ah! Come on, you! To keep you guys there! You! <sighs> Honestly! How much money I spend photocopying, sending money for books, that tuition fees? Shit! You come with results like you, you never went to school, you lost the whole year, and then you go and sit for results. That's the result you bring in this house! In this house. Huh? You even have the audacity of refusing when I send you to do on your way. George, you refuse. George, come on. Look at the results you brought. You eat George. So from the gist, the father spent $21,000 on the son's education, which I must say in whatever economy you're looking at it is a huge money. But he failed woefully and was even absent from, um, from some subjects, but passed music and geography. He passed music. He barely passed geography. Okay, but he passed. He just passed. Yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> Should I take the reactions first? Sure. Okay, so at Daddy Free says, My papa beat me past like that. He didn't spend 21,000 USD on me from the time I was born up till now. Why send a kid who doesn't like studying to such a costly school? The father was wrong. The boy wants to do music. $21,000 gets him a piano. Use the rest to feature Naira Mali. Okay. Yeah. YC says, Sha, um, bottom line is my mom could comfortably let me repeat because my school fees was not 21,000 USD and that's where I cannot speak on how that man feels because even me no go pay $21,000 for my Peking secondary education. At Ake Ula underscore trendy says 21k USD or not, music has destroyed the career of many young boys. They see the likes of Naramali Zlatan and Co as role model. Meanwhile, even these people are educated, but is it about their education? At Wealthy Youth says 21k USD wasted and is still sit down under AC. My dad gave me 1,000 naira to buy understanding mathematics and I did not give him his 300 naira change. Results came out and I failed math. My dad put me inside a drum, rolled this in the compound and asked me to be shouting, I am a thief. As De Kunle says, everyone is concerned about the 21k USD that the man paid and the boy's failure to show up on exams day while you all ignoring the fact that a woman filmed the man scolding his son, took a picture of the son's results and let everything get to social media. Women will embarrass you. At BC9196 says, violence is not the answer, but no be every question gets answer. Alubaje or give me $21,000. Yeah, that's all we can take. It is serious and trending and interesting, but who wants to go first? Mm. You guys should go first. This is more of a Nigerian. Oh, you're not a Nigerian. Hey, you you're not a Nigerian. Let's Me, I wasn't raised with beating, so I don't really have much. Okay, so um, $21,000 is not a joke. That's mm -hmm. one. Secondly, um, I don't appreciate it when 
um, children don't see the efforts that their parents are apparently putting in to make sure they have um, good education or at least have a good future. Fine, is it in line with what you want to do with your life? Maybe yes and maybe not, but sometimes it's, it's best to at least appreciate it, put in the effort, especially when you've agreed to do something. Now, the failing part, if the results came out and everything on it was just failure, 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 we would say maybe he doesn't have head for schooling. But it means for you to be absent in two um, um, subjects, it means that you were not even paying attention. You're not even interested in being part of that process. And it is more like, for me, I feel like it's a deliberate attempt. Now, the main thing is the beating and the slapping. Me, I'm not against beating a child, seriously. I'm, I'm definitely not in support of the whole military, military, really, military kind of discipline and them using koboko, pouring pepe and all that. Compared to the amounts that that man spent, what I saw in that video is, I think it's fair. Okay, so if you ask me, I don't know the full story, so I won't be able because um, there's different stories. Some are saying that um, he didn't sit for some exams and some are saying that he actually sat and failed. So um, my question is, has the father ever sat him down to find out why? Because I believe that this is not the first time mm -hmm. that he's failing. Mm -hmm. Or this is not the first time that you have realized that your son is he's not weak. doing well in school or mm -hmm. he's academically weak. Now, has the father ever sat him down to have a conversation with the son? What is actually going on? What do you want to do? What do you want out of life? Those are the questions that a good parent would ask a child. Mm -hmm. Now... Whether you spend twenty one thousand, that's your that's your responsibility, and you wow. chose yes. yes, yes, you chose to send the school to the ch the uh, to a child to a school that costly. Mm -hmm. Now, if you lose, you should know that it's a win or lose situation, anyways, because not everyone has the brain for academics. Yes. Now, a lot of people are even stuck in professions that they're not happy in. Mm -hmm. They're stuck doing jobs that they're they're not fulfilled in. Do you understand? So the question is, as a good parent, is it by beating the child? Would that make him get back to school the next time and become the A1 student? That's not going to change a thing. I get what you're it's trying not going to, to say. No, I also and then saw, also, okay. I also have a serious problem with my father did more than this. Hi, Father that God. Is a, Fair that, God bless that you. I can hug you right now. That is a serious problem. It and is. I think it is a mental issue. Thank you. That a lot of us are broken. Yes. Mm. Oh. And we're living... <laughs> <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Today you're bringing so the heat. I don't wow. agree that a lot of us are broken. The That's one. That, and look. secondly, maybe broken in another contest, but not because of this. Secondly, I saw something online that has to do with um, conversations going around what the, if, if the schools are also held accountable. Because sometimes people tell you that if I'm coming to... Uh, um, put a child in your school to pay this amount of money and this child is not performing well. Has this school ever called the father into a conversation to say, this is what we have noticed. We've spoken to your son and this is, or is it just a case of attend lectures if you want and do what you want and just come out of it? Like I said, I'm not against discipline and I'm not going to say that people that are saying that they've gotten worse and, and done worse. I also, um, okay, I don't think I was the one who interviewed this person, but I watched the interview where the person was talking about how she she, um, she ended up studying economics in school. Mm. That wasn't what she wanted to do. But right now, she's one of the top um, mm, people God. when it comes to... Um, um, what was that segment now? When it comes finance. to finance and being able to advise people on what they should do with their finance. Mm. And she's absolutely happy with this. But at that her growing stage, it was a difficult thing for her to understand that her, her parents okay, at the time was chose. looking at... Not even just choosing. Mm. They were looking at what her abilities was um, um, oh. based on her results in secondary school. Now, that is me saying that I understand it for a parent to sit down to have a conversation with their son. But like you said, we don't know the full story. But based on the conversation on saying, oh, is that beating too much? I'm sorry, I'm not going to say it's too much. So yeah. for me, I think that violence in any regard, in any sense, is wrong. If say, if a woman, if an evil man came, and I'm using evil because it, this is very um, prevalent in their culture, and he paid a lot of money for his bride, and then the bride came and sat down in the house and was completely useless, did not cook, not clean, not do anything, probably even give him, you know, pleasure or whatever, and then he beats the wife, we'll all be here screaming that that's absolutely wrong, and the money does not matter, and blah, 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 blah. There is 
is your, your as a parent it is your right to do whatever you want to do to sacrifice whatever it, it is in your own capacity that you decide what you want to do for mm -hmm. that child and that's not the child's responsibility it's only in this country i see people choking their children with the sacrifice that you've made we appreciate it we love you and a decent child should be able to do that but it's not a responsibility and we're not bound to your will because you sacrifice things. That is the job of a parent. Any violence is wrong. You are teaching the child that violence is a means when necessary of, communication. of communicating. You are treating, you are first of all, you are, you are teaching them two things. That it's okay for me to be, to be, to be treated ill when, when, when violence is involved. And it's okay for me to act like that because I have righteous anger. First of all, me, I'm going to now put, this, uh, uh, put myself in this situation. Growing up, believe it or not, until university, I was a very poor student. And I had this talk, and it triggers me so much. You're lazy. You're not putting effort. You're not doing this. But the truth of the matter is that the system, of educational system, is limited. If you're a parent listening, understand, I'm grown and I'm successful in every right. But it was hard for me to thrive in the education system until I got to uni. And I've realized that I cannot learn something that I'm not, I don't have a passion about. That's a limitation and, and a blessing in, in disguise. Because when I was able to choose the subject that I wanted to do in uni, I was an honorary role. You can go and check me out. In uni, this was a girl that was getting F9. My Wayek, I got F9. I had to go do uni, um, Wayek again in Ghana. The stories are much. I can give everything to you. And my parents would give me all the reasons why they've tried and they've suffered. And I couldn't, but I tried. I read. I did everything. So you don't know. The, the, the violence, slapping a child I hear is, you, is ridiculous. And I get you. So, I'm, as far as I'm concerned, though, mm -hmm. I'm never going to train a child with violence. I'm not going to take it from any man to train a child with violence. If you haven't done all the other methods, which mm. there are so many of them, other methods the of boy parenting was the child. Was, the boy was, 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 was even trying, trying, trying to skinny. talk. He what was, was he going to say? You know, it's very you easy. Like, it's talk very to easy to say this result. thing when you're not the one toiling every day it is, to bring out that Elsie, money. It is even so easy to slap a child because it's the fastest thing that you can do. It is easier to just do this rather than saying, oh, let me go and think about, or let me go and find other methods in which I can get to the bottom of this. I understand you saying that it is a parent responsibility. They brought you, I mean, but we also, as children, mm. owe them a level of decency and respect and understanding what that effort. I mean, it's just like you saying you're going to throw away the fact that in you have privileges much as I understand because your oh, you I feel like so. Well, then I don't know. Are you going kind to do of what? My brain. I, I hold on. <laughs> I understand and I agree that there are different methods. Who says that this man who understands the importance of education to spend this huge amount on his son will not still find a way to say, you know what? Let's sit down and let's have a conversation. Like we said, what we are seeing is just this video. We don't even know what is going My on was in the this family video. It's about right flogging. Now. But it's a bigger picture. Well, of course, the bigger picture and flogging, of course, there are different ways of communication and all that. But with this video we have seen and the conversation ongoing on this video, I'm sorry, I'm not going to agree that that thing, man has done to, anything extremely wrong. Of course, because the argument the here is, no. your, is your method of, t of, of training. People are, the argument about this video isn't the nitty gritty is what he did and what he didn't do. Should the father be slapping a child? Should he be slapping a child who is failing in school? That's the problem. And I think in any context, any God forsaken context you want to bring to me, there is other ways you can train a child rather than hitting. Because once you start to justify a reason for to be violent, You've lost me. I cannot condole this. I cannot justify. I cannot understand it as far as I'm concerned. And then I also feel like when it comes to raising a child, there are all the signs you look for in what direction the child wants. Now, obviously, he knows that this child loves music, right? And this child, I, I don't know if it was Daddy Freeze who, who said it. That it would the buy. idea of him loving music is based on the result and of even social media listen, people listen, saying listen, that he would listen, love Because this music, doesn't mean that yeah. he's going to be a great musician. Yeah, First it doesn't of all, mean there's that. different ways. For, I, I think that there's something actually that he has, he has a hard time learning. For me, my issue was that any answers that were rigid, like if you say 2 plus 2, 4, I, d I couldn't thrive. I needed to be able to express why I thought 2 plus 2 was for which was I did well in literature and whatever, whatever. I think that this boy has a learning problem that doesn't encourage, that's not encouraged by the education mm. system. Now, if you think about it, music and geography, in the testing system systems, they don't actually need words. Mm. They need you to draw the, sim the, the symbols. They need you to draw maps. And they're so, more practical. Yes, they are. Exactly. They are more practical. So I think that there's some, that's why, and not, not that he loves music or he loves geography. There's something about that system of subjects that he thrives in. Mm. So imagine if you put that child in in a system that works like that. Now, Peter Doce was also trending on, oh, on Twitter earlier today. He's even worse. <laughs> what because, did you say? Um, you posted. Oh, okay. Yeah, you posted that he didn't. Um, that once he told his father About that 
he wanted them he wanted to, him to open an electrical shop for mm -hmm. him and he said okay he called him into his room mm -hmm. and beat him up mm -hmm. do you understand he said that reset is going back to factory setting okay and now look at him a child said i don't want to go to school anymore <laughs> mm -hmm. electrical shop maybe you ledoche would have been the greatest Electri electrician we mm -hmm. ever had. He Amazing. could have invented something. He could have done so something. So you're saying that is passion. Hold on, you let Doche is coming to tell you. Look at me now because he feels like look his at life you is now. Okay. I'm, now I'm, 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 I'm not I'm still not. You don't need impressed. to be impressed if he's impressed with his life. I'm sorry, Ver. You don't need to be impressed so with what, his so own life. So why you telling me? To but look I can you tell now. you that he is. He is a success because you sit on this table every day. Really? You agree? He has. So why are you saying we should not look at him? Okay, but let me tell you. There's other people who are successful. For and ignore beats them. So what's the point? It's not as if it's giving you some so extra thing. So would you agree that there is there, there are children or young adults that you would need to actually guide for them to take the I right decisions say, in not, their lives? And you would beat them in order wait, to do wait, that? Wait, That's not the question. Wait. Do no, you of agree? Course you agree. That. You must have that, parenting. Yes, wait, now. I believe that scolding is allowed because even according according to the Bible, scolding is how. What is scolding? Spear the rod. What is scolding? The child. Spear the rod. And spoil the child, right? It doesn't have no, to. No, but what is that's why I'm asking you what is coding and what is sparing the rod? Because the which right is why path. I'm still no, looking at the conversation, the context problem, of this okay, conversation. And I problem. can't take it from the general yeah. angle, except we did not play everybody this video. Everybody is looking at it from the beating and whether I'm looking at it from the failure point of view. Now, it's okay to scold the child. Maybe you notice that a child all the time just intentionally likes to break your stuff. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. Like he just picks the phone smashes it mm -hmm. on the floor goes to the tv breaks it up now it's okay for you to scold such a child and be like yo what's wrong with you <laughs> but not me, something that let, concerns let your life example. not something that the child that, also knows that is for my own good okay. that when the child like is I younger said. when they want to scold the child physically now mm. it's very different it's mm. very intentional if it's not to explain um late lucy what you did was wrong give me your finger bye bye now that for me i can even tolerate because it's not done out of anger but now you are angry and you are wozing the child. You can see the energy, Do you think the anger that's child coming child out. It's wrong. Intentionally. Look at the look at. Do you and, think and, any and, child no, she, wants to You also said that oh, some that our community. Some would. Yes. You maybe see, then maybe they're just trying to punish the parents. Why would you want to punish? I don't parents? know. That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't. I don't Which is want, why I agree that there need to be other ways to to have conversations and understand these things. I'm sorry. But based on this video, this man has not done anything wrong. I disagree.